Okay, so today we are going to be touring a $10,000 tiny home. This one isn't spectacular, but it's actually surprisingly one of the better ones slash best ones that I've seen in the past couple of months that I've been in. You know, these come in and out every week. I want to say there's about three to five tiny homes on the park, but this one behind me right here, this one is actually very unique. So enjoy today's video. You guys seem to really love the previous one. So uh, give this video 100 likes and we shall make a part three if there's a, another one left. So uh, let's get this baby started. All right, so this is the front and this is a trailer basically. Some people would arguably say. Now what I do like about this one is it's got really nice big windows. That's one thing we can arguably say. It's got pretty good sized windows. Maybe too many windows perhaps if you don't like windows. So from the front, we go to the side. Now this one is about, I want to say 10 grand, but I could be completely wrong. We've got another window. One thing you notice about these order models is that a lot of these have windows on the side. Now, if you're a person like me who really doesn't want to feel like they're getting spied on the whole time, you wouldn't want one of these. Now, interesting fact, I first thought these were shutters, but um, more for design. But anyways, you got your two entrances actually, which is very luxury. Most cities only have one entrances. With privacy glass, as you can see, there you go. Not the best, the lock itself, well, you probably want to replace that because it is single glass, so it's not the greatest. Anyways, you come to the side, right? You've got a kitchen. Now this one, I actually do like more than mine because unfortunately, my window is small. I really wish I had a little bit of a bigger window in the kitchen, but then yet again, why would you want a big window? Now this one is actually not that old because the order models don't have this type of stuff on the outside. As you can see right there, this one as well. Well, that one isn't as old as this one, but you get what I mean. This is your kitchen. I don't know if you can see much, but got a sink. Not a big sink, but it does a trick. Anyway, as you go to this side, you got a second door, which is not bad. That's really nice, really luxury for 10 grand, maybe less or more. And this is your bathroom. And you can, well, most of the times you identify the bathroom because of a window that has privacy stuff in it, like stick in and stuff like that. Yet again, it's a shame that these are not actual shutters. Some models I think you can include that, but then you have to customize it, like the one that I had. I'm not sure if you can customize it with shutters, but why would you? And this one is actually surprisingly not short. It isn't really wide. That's one thing with these order models, right? They are, yeah, they average pretty long, about eight between nine meters, which isn't bad. But width isn't really the biggest thing here. So this is perfect for when you don't have a lot of money, or this is perfect, like I mentioned in the previous one, a lot of Polish people that work here in the Netherlands, they simply cannot afford rent on an apartment. You know, 12, 1300 a month is a lot of money. You know, if you make an average of two grand here in the Netherlands, that's a lot of money. That's more than half your salary gone. So we often donate either to Polish people that work here, or we donate to families in Poland. I don't think any of you noticed that or know that, but anyways, you got the side, which is, you know, nice. It's a nice neutral color. That's one thing I will argue be say. It's just like mine. It's a very neutral color, beautiful. It's not a beige color, but it's better than nothing. Anyways, we go to this side and this is one of two bedrooms and this is the main bedroom. I think someone's been in it. I don't know. Last time I checked in it. What I do really like about this one is the fact it's got like sort of like privacy glass you can see. That's nice. I'm glad mine doesn't have to because I have that full natural light effect coming in as well. Maybe you can see a little bit from the inside. I don't think you can. The living room is actually surprisingly very interesting. It's not super big, but it's also not super small. It's actually really nice, nice size actually. It's not too big. I want to say this, now nah, this is single glass, but I could be completely wrong. Maybe it's double glass, but not as thick. Well, I say it's thicker than mine, but here it. Hmm, it might be thicker than mine. I don't think so, but this is one of the living rooms. Well, one of the bedrooms. This is a small bedroom, so if you've got a guest, it's not big, but then yet again, it is absolutely perfect when you don't have a lot of money and you have somebody that can sleep over. At least they've got a bed. And we're gonna put it in full frame, what it looks like from full frame. There you go, this is what the tiny home looks like in full frame. Not a bad size. And if you guys are wondering how they transport these, well, just like mine, it has wheels, so basically what they do is, uh, this is by the way, you hook it up onto your gas, interesting fact. So now the biggest question you probably got, how does it work, how do they transport it? Super duper easy, to just tow it on the front, and this is your pipe drainage. And one thing you'll notice about this one, this one needs a little bit of work, it's gotten some work done. Not, this one isn't that old, I uh, don't think so. Anyways, we've seen the front, right? This isn't a huge one, but it's nice. I actually believe it or not like this layout a lot compared to the other older tiny homes because it's big. You know, it's 
it's acceptable I think you know this is really an acceptable tiny home for the space it's very very cozy so anyways let me show you a little bit so anyways we got the entrances right over there right the entrances over there this is one of your five windows one this is the second one three four and five windows so once you got your entrance I mean I might as well show you guys from this angle way easy to do your couch goes here now because there is something here which I have to show you guys on the other side is the reason why you cannot have an L couch it basically blocks your L couch is the input in the corner which does suck if you want an L couch but you got other options as well luckily and this is by the way how they tow it they put it on a crane or a tractor and they put it on and they because of the two wheels under that's how it keeps its balance so for layout I'm thinking a normal average couch now the weird thing is about this one this one has also got cabin tree space up on the top you don't see that often with these tiny homes really unique it's also got things for mosquito this window I don't know I'm really confused if it's a single or double glass but regardless it's a nice one it's got a nice roof it's nice and green it just needs a little bit of cleaning but hey you'll do that as well now this is very unique wow you don't see these at all in new models and um, because of safety I'm not sure that's a real fireplace or not but if it is well that's pretty cool at least you got some space as well for like some decorations and stuff so you just get a normal average couch and then your t well your tv doesn't go there we'll go there just now your sitting area goes there so you aren't actually limited at all which is very nice because of the fact that this one gives you so much optional space when you walk in because most of these are like they suck right honestly uh, a lot of these old people have these tiny homes and then they just like a maze you know you walk in it's all tight this one is surprisingly very very nice it's spacious enough it's perfect enough for when you're on your own now you're probably wondering well how come keegan you didn't buy one of these well let me just explain quickly um i didn't like these i was looking at these for between tw 10 and 22 gram and when you go to the 10 15 grand this is what you're basically getting right respectfully this is what you get you don't really get much so you mustn't obviously expect too much luxury i also wanted a form of luxury i wanted the safety of knowing that okay the building the structure is safe i can walk on it i can jump in it this and this and that an interesting fact i just figured out i didn't know this before recording these doors actually go open as well that is unique a lot of these do not have these the order models so you open it it just needs a bit of cleaning a little bit of furniture and this place is ready to, do, to be done do a bit of the outside i don't know who the hell did this window but they glued it way too much so like i said as well it's got like mosquito things as well very interesting you don't see that often in tiny homes even the luxury ones don't often have them so you open your door and you click it onto that and then you can have your door completely open i wish i had the keys to this one because i would love to show the interior completely but i can't because somebody's obviously bought or sold this or is going to throw it away so yeah i wanted luxury as well and i also just wanted to have a place that, that i really like you know when it comes to just like a normal house like your real house this is a tiny home on wheels so you can move it whenever you want to feel like it with a real house you cannot just do that you know and especially if it's not detachable and i wanted one that i liked you know i didn't want to buy one i was eventually like you know this is 20 grand but i despise it it doesn't feel right with me buy what you like you know maybe we europeans are luxury used i don't know but anyways from the couch right the couch is there situated a normal couch i mean i guess you could put an l couch but then your TV would have to go there. It wouldn't really make much sense having an L couch if you're sitting over there in your couch and your TV is there. Dining table. And what is so unique about this one is if I can see it, I can't really see through the camera. It's got a dishwasher. Now that is super unique. Um, most of these do not even have a dishwasher. But then yet again, they obviously replace something for the dishwasher. You got your sink, got a small cabinetry, which I'm assuming is the gas. Your TV over there. Absolutely perfect unit like this. Would I recommend this one? I actually would. Would I live in this one? I really wouldn't mind living in this one. But I do love my own tiny home, so, you know, respectfully. I love this one. It's got a really RV type of lookish, you know, interior design. It's got a very nice RV like road look. Um, I wish these shutters were like ones you could actually close. That would have been a nice feature. You got your air thing as well. Now, some of these tiny homes, believe it or not, are very interesting designs. Some of them even have skylights in them. So, up on the roof and stuff like that you can have a skylight beam going directly in will piss me off Percy but the second room you know really this isn't bad is it fantastic you arguably say if it's good enough for 10 12 grand this is really not bad 
How old is it? That I do not know. Because I don't see a production date on here anywhere. This is really a nice cool feature. It does have a nice feature, you know, exterior wise. This doesn't look too bad. Is it worth the money? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. This is one of the better ones I've seen in states so far. Most of these on, you know, see the thing is right. Most of these tiny homes are neglected. So they look great exterior wise, but then you look interior wise, it's like, you're gonna have to put more money and work in than the thing's actually worth. You have to also pay attention when you're purchasing one of these and you say, okay, let's say, because I do know, I don't know people personally, but I know for a fact, some people buy these tiny homes and renovate them completely new and everything and they resell them. So let's say you buy one of these for 10 grand and you invest exterior wise, you invest about a hundred bucks of paint. Cause at the end of the day, well, you just need to steam clean it actually, not paint cause you're gonna damage the paint. It's just steam clean it, pressure clean it. Well, I don't advise pressure cleaning it because you might actually destroy the layout. But this is the second one. I don't think I'll show you the second entry. That's the second entry, nice privacy glass. Now mine is different, you know, my door is thicker. It's got a better mechan mechanism. I would advise when you buy one of these, change the lock because this shit is not good. But hey, yet again, what do you expect? I, I really like this one. Now if it was up to me, I would have said, hey, I'll buy one of these for my grandmother. I would, really, this is fantastic. You know, if you got a own plot of land and you're like, hey, I'm trying to look what I can see for my granddaughter or stuff. Really, these are great. Instead of buying or building a home, which is a lot of money, perfect. You know, and I don't give a damn what people think about me. Yeah, I'm proud of what I live at, man. This is my home. I like it a lot. I don't care if you judge me, man. I'm very proud. Thinking about it now, I'm actually glad I don't have a house, like a big house. Because a tiny home is the future, man. This is really nice. I think you could probably make, you could probably flip and resell this for a couple of grand. You could probably make two, four thousand dollar profit on this, really. You know, the interior, this is one of the most unique ones I've seen yet. And I hope to, you know, make more of these videos in the months that I'm here. But this is, it's really spacious. You know, I was really shocked. It's like, holy shit. This is a lot of space for a tiny home this size. I don't think it's double wall very unique very unique i love the interior as well it's like really got an offy stylish off-road style it's got like random stuff added to it as well i like it a lot i wouldn't mind buying one of these for my mama's stuff late in the future damn being a millionaire living in one of these that is a dream come true because that whew, you still got m's on the bank you know this is by the way someone else's home property we got by the way we've got a barrel in the water we got some other stuff. This is nasty. This is why I didn't purchase the other property because this is gonna stink and rot, right? But this one's either gonna get sold or either get thrown away. For me, it personally wouldn't make any form of sense if an individual or people decide to throw this away because this is in perfect condition. This is an eight out of 10, you know, I've seen the inside and the inside, you got a four gas burner. Wow, would you look at that? Didn't even notice. Decent height. It's single glass, yeah, I think it's single glass. You can also open the windows as well, which is really, really cool. Mine can open as well. I like this one, yeah. Shit, if it was up to me, I'd buy this one. But it's probably been sawed. Wow. We got some tiny homes on the front as well. We got about two and a thousand worth of tiny homes on the front. Ooh, we may be a quarter million actually. I would love to show you all those, but um, simply not because of the fact that, well, that's too busy there, you know. And I also don't want to make the people scared there. But this is really not a bad tiny home. It's smaller than mine, obviously, because I chose for an upgraded one. But this, uh, you see, it's definitely not bad. No, this is like a second home. You buy one of these, put it in Spain or in, an, in another foreign country. Absolutely perfect. I mean, who wouldn't love to live in one of these, man? Don't judge people, because I did that as well, man. I'm, I was stupid. I said, you know, oh, people that live in there are probably poor and stuff. It's not nice to say, man. This is really a good opportunity for the future. You know, tiny homes are the future. And even these older models are great. Now, these models vary from five grand to 15 grand. The higher, in the higher in price you go, the higher in class and luxury you obviously go. So if you buy one of these, this might even be 12, 15 grand because of the condition it is outside, exterior wise. Interior wise, it seems to be really looked after thoroughly by the previous owners. This is a very good looking one. And when we're speaking about it, over there in the distance is also one of these similar models. I won't be showing any of these because it's people's stuff obviously. I don't want to invade people's privacy, but let me know if I should make more of these videos for you guys on this channel. I really love making these videos. Um, yeah, they just stand there randomly. This is the end of the park basically. So you got like a little shop over there as well. 
it's never open. Well, probably only summertime. I mean, it makes sense. This one is, uh, it's got a really nice, unique, flawless interior design. So I fucking love it. I really, really like it. The ceiling is, um, if you're about six feet five, you might have an issue. But if you're six foot, yeah, you should easily fit in there. I love the big window, you know, when you're sitting outside dining table, that's a really unique feature, which a lot of these have small windows, you know, they don't have, nah. See, I can't judge if it's single or double glass. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm retarded, man. I don't know. But I'm going to have to end this video. I really hope you guys enjoy this. And let me know if I should make more of these videos. I definitely will. If this video will get 100 plus likes, I will make a part three for you guys when another one of these come and arrive. I basically drive up now on my scooter here every single day to check if there's anything new here to do. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow with a new video. Thank you so much for watching. And peace out.